G'day. We're having a look at uh, drawing a network diagram, but along the way we're defining a few types of graphs here. We've had a look at connected graphs in the previous video. Now we're having a look at isomorphic graphs. Isomorphic graphs are graphs that may look different to each other, but in the end contain equivalent information. So two graphs we say are isomorphic if they have the same numbers of edges and vertices in the end, even though they might be sort of uh, formatted differently. They're, they have uh, corresponding vertices that have the same degree, corresponding edges connected this to the same vertices. So it's kind of like the same arrangements, but it might look different on the page. Let's have a look at a couple of good examples, or at least one. So we've got those conditions of isomorphic graphs there, so we can check them as we go. So these two uh, diagrams here, these two network diagrams, let's see if they are equivalent to each other in their characteristics or not. So we have A, B, C, D here and A, B, C, D over here as well. They look different, but uh, anyway, do they have the same numbers of edges and vertices? So here we have one, two, three, four edges. And over here we have one, two, three, four edges. So we've ticked that one off. Now we also need for them to be isomorphic graphs, they need corresponding vertices having the same degree. So the vertex here at A has a degree of two. The vertex here, which is corresponding to it, has a degree of 2. It has two edges connecting with it. Um, B has 2, B has 2. In this diagram, C has 2, and C has 2, and also D has 2, and D has 2. So we've ticked that second condition for isomorphic graphs off. Corresponding vertices have the same degree. And corresponding edges connect to the same vertices. Let's have a look at the edges here. So you see A, B. A to B is connected, and so uh, we so is uh, there's, there's an edge that connects A to B on the second diagram as well. Uh, we have B to C. They're connected, and we have B down to C connected there as well in a slightly slopey way. We have uh, C to D being nicely connected, and we do it down there as well and A and D are connected and so so they are in the other diagram. So we've ticked off all those three conditions that uh, lead us to uh, believe that these, this, these are a pair of isomorphic graphs. There you have it. Here's another example and I won't go through absolutely every condition here but you could uh, pause the video and make sure this is true. I think if you stare at this long enough you do have equivalent information. Uh, well, let's have a look at the edges and vertices. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, is it? One, two, three, anyway. They look like they've got the same number of edges, trust me. Uh, I checked before. Corresponding vertices have the same degree. I think all of the vertices that we can see have a degree of two. You'd agree with that. And corresponding edges certainly connect with the same vertices, even though they don't look like it. But uh, A connects to C over here, for example. I won't check them all because it gets uh, a little bit tedious. But A does connect to C, just in a different sort of formation, I guess. And uh, each of those edges, uh, corresponding edges, do connect with the same vertices that they do in the left-hand diagram. So that's another example of a pair of isomorphic graphs, if they, if they um, I guess, satisfy those three conditions. So isomorphic graphs are graphs that may look different at first, but actually contain, in the end, when you have a look at it, equivalent information. And we saw the uh, conditions that needed to be satisfied there. Isomorphic graphs, kind of interesting. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you on the flip side.